morning, Michael Mepp here. Hope you all had a beautiful weekend. Um, I sure did. I uh, basically, what I do Saturday, Saturday. Oh, the kiddo played Saturday. She did a great goal. That was lots of fun. She played a good game. Actually posted her goal. Proud Papa. I didn't think it was going to go in, but yeah, she put some good moves on. Very proud of her. Um, she's still hustling and, and doing well. She'll be a senior next year. And who knows, maybe she'll play in college um, someday. That would be great. Um, what else? I watched a couple movies, and I watched the fight. Good fights. Um, what movies did I watch? I watched, uh, actually watched uh, We Own the Night. Uh, pretty interesting movie. Um, recommended, not bad, and then I watched, uh, which I had seen, but I didn't remember, but whatever, I watched it, Heist, with, uh, with Robert De Niro, this one right here, it was pretty good, I enjoyed them both, and then I watched the fight, uh, the fight was really, really good, uh, it was, uh, Ryan Garcia, uh, and he was, he was actually a big, big, underdog. I think it was plus 500. I didn't throw any money on the fight, um, but sh man, if I would have knew those odds were that bad, I might have gone into the Seminole Hard Rock Cafe uh, app that we have here now in Florida, because we don't have DraftKings or, or, or FanDuel or any of those apps here in Florida. Um, we have the Seminole ones, which is owned by the uh, Indians, so we're able to bet on that one. So, um, I didn't bet, but it was a good fight, and Ryan did slap a, slap it on 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 Devin Haney. So um, that was an interesting thing. Went to sleep late Saturday, and then Sunday. What did I do yesterday? Well, got the groceries. Went to do the groceries. Um, got a lot of fruits, and um, actually getting my meats from Butcher Box, um, and that's working now. Um, I picked up some some cheese and some some fruits and dairy and you know trying to get healthy and then what else hung out with my sister had some dinner there I didn't watch any movies uh, last night watched a little bit of caught a little bit of the Panthers first game in the playoffs win they won three one I think that he got smoked and um, just ran chores and did stuff around the house but nothing nothing uh, in regards to watching a movie or anything yesterday. Um, I didn't do a, a futures uh, video last night, but let's take a look at them this morning. Um, the 10 year is up two bips, almost three bips to 463. Uh, the Aussie, the Looney, and the 6N are up. All the currencies are down. I would assume that the dollar is up because gold is getting clobbered this morning uh, and so is silver uh, so gold is up a little bit Fif uh, 0.15 a little bit over 0.15 Bitcoin is up almost 2000 to 66,260 so Bitcoin is probably doing well today the middle position is probably doing okay. Uh, it's up today, one hundred and twenty-three dollars. Um, my PNL there on those middle future contracts are up uh, fifteen hundred. Oil is down seventy-one cents to eighty-one fifty. Now we just opened about twenty minutes ago. S&P up 25, Ether up almost 100 to 3,200. Like I said, gold is getting a slap, down 60, down big. Beaters up a dollar. Hogs. Where are the hogs at? Uh, pretty flat at 105. Cattle up almost two bucks to 178. Uh, Copper pretty much flat. Small caps up eight. 
1969. NASDAQ up 105 to 17,284. Uh, Dow Jones up 87. The Nikkei was up 405. I will take a look to make sure. Palladium and Platinum are pretty flat. Natural gas up 3 cents. VIX down almost a dollar. So VIX is down pretty hard. Grains, corn up 4, soybeans 2 cents, and wheat up 19 cents. And those are your futures as of now. Uh, the Asian markets, Asia, um, ASX was up a percent, Nikkei was up a percent, Cosby up a, a one and a half percent, Hang Seng up one seven seven, Shanghai down six seven. So for the most part, we're green overseas. DAX one two seven, FTSE one two eight, and the CAC up fifteen. The FTC MIB was down. 0.71. I just do the FKIDX. I thought the 401k would drop more, but it's pretty stable, so pretty good. My shocker today, which well, I mean, the metals have been hot, but they're getting really slapped today. We'll see if throughout the day the rally, but gold down 62 and silver down a dollar 36. Um, give me a second. So yeah, that's the update on the futures. Um, let's take a look at the bar chart. See what we got on the uh, most actives early in the morning. Remember, we just opened. So we have Tesla down three. I think Tesla cut prices again. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, NVIDIA up 27, Apple 92, uh, Amazon 2. AMD 173, ARM of 5. So we're getting a little bit of a bounce back in the uh, in the chips. For the most part, in, uh, Netflix still down again, another down day. I think they, they, not, they don't want to report future subscriber uh, numbers maybe. I think that's what I read. I may be incorrect on that, but maybe that's what's hurting them. Um, Coinbase, Coinbase of 14. Super microcomputer down 7. Not popping. Verizon was up in the pre market. I guess it rolled over. I know they had earnings this morning. Alphabet up two. And it's still early. Um, these don't even have more than 10,000 contracts traded. So it's very, very early in the day. I did get some more shipment of the coins. So here's. No, I'm not going to get rich on this. It's just So this is a Silver Eagle. Look at that. Nice silver eagle there. You can see it there. That's the other side. Let's pick some up. I have some extra funds. Always like to pick them up when I can. Physical and paper. Atmex. They've been good to me, so I like them. Um so we'll see how the day transpires on the earning front. Let's see what we got earning wise, and then I'll wrap up the video, and then I'll do another one, um, maybe midday or or after the bell. Depends how work goes. I got a lot of offers over the weekend, and I got some more offers this morning. So we'll see how how the car business treats me today. I got a little break in the action. I'll probably go for another walk, get a couple miles in before it starts getting really hot trying to get those five miles a day so today my steps in today uh, before the bell I know we had Verizon Dion Bank which is uh, let's see well, we could just click on them and I'll tell you up or down so Verizon went down uh, Zion Bank up nicely I guess so banks I guess are reporting good numbers huh Aversons. I thought Aversons was getting bought out. After the bell. Cliff. We have Cliff after the bell, which I own. Sap. Clax. Some of the names that I'm familiar with. 
a new core, a metal plate. Up. Kathy General. No, I'm not sure about that one. That's pretty much it. So it seems like we have all packaging for <clears throat> I think they do like cardboard boxes and stuff. And Brown and Brown is an insurance company. Um, so there's a couple of uh, big metal names. Cliff is a pretty uh, um, active name always on the board. AGNC Investment Corp. Not that much. I think SAP is pretty big. But biggest watchers would be AGNC. They have a lot of watchers after the bells. Uh, Cliff has 30,000 watchers. Candace Design Systems is a pretty big runner. Uh, Nucor has 7,000 watchers. And that's pretty much it. Let's see what's tomorrow before the bell. Have Danaher, PepsiCo, Spotify, UPS. So we got some big names tomorrow. GE Arrow, uh, General Motors, Jeff Lou, Halliburton, Raytheon, Philip Morris, Kimberly Clark. Sherman Williams, Fieser, if you say it like that, Lockheed Martin, Nextera Energy, Freeport McMoran. So we have a lot of, you know, we're going into the thick of earnings season. So that should be uh, interesting to see how the markets react to it. Um, so, anyways, that's just a quick recap. I don't want to go any longer. I'm past 10 minutes. I hope you guys have a great trading day, investing day, work day, uh, overall great day, and uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll try and do some shorts too, and if I do any trades, I'll, I'll put them in there. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.